There's a new NBA champion, and it's a team from Toronto, Canada. He wasn't the finals MVP. He didn't torch an average 30 a game, but Fred Van Vliet's finals performance was one of the best, most clutch series I've ever seen. That performance you saw in the finals was the result of a player who put in the work for his entire life to reach that moment, then was so composed during the moment, kept it so simple when every instinct is to do more and more, and it paid off. Let's check out how he did it. Especially earlier in the finals coming off an awful shooting series, he played primarily off ball. But the way he found open spots in the defense and was ready for his shots when they came to him was really fun to watch. And you can literally see his confidence start to rise and rise as the series progressed. Van Vliet, corner three. That's the shot clock expires. Van Vliet, another three. Bang! Van Vliet. Then when Kyle Lowry was on the bench and he got into the pick and roll game more, his reads were impressively simple. He never tried to make the hero play off the screen, stuck to the read team knew would work, and it did work. Like even right here, a lot of guys would see Cousins pass the three point line on the screen and try to make something very tough happen out of the pick and roll, playing hero ball. But in this series, when every point matters, Van Vliet realized that simple is better. The same thing goes for his moves. Pretty much all of his drives went straight lines to the basket off a simple move. In a cup. In a job in a... Van Vliet fake, stoops, it makes it easier when you have some go-tos. Like his drop between the legs that he used all series to get past some tough defenders. Shut up! Van Vliet to the rim! And the same simplicity went for his finishes. He attacked the rim with the intention to go straight at the bucket and then was great adjusting from there. No wasted movement, everything straight to the bucket. But then once you get that confidence going with that simplicity, you start to make some crazy shots. Oh, he packs it in! Van Vliet! If he would have kept dribbling, he would have had a layup. Van Vliet! Bang! You start feeling that crowd's energy and feeding. Nice pass ahead from Gasol Van Vliet to Siakam! It's really just the way basketball works. And another way to get that flow and confidence is with defense. Taking up the challenge and feeling yourself pestering the best defender on the other team will give you that confidence, even if you get scored on a few times. Or at least it should if you got that right mindset. What's even more impressive is that he made all the simple passes all the way throughout the series. Even as his confidence began to seemingly exponentially shoot up, he wouldn't try to make the highlight play. It was simple but correct every time. And this even means passing up his own shots to get teammates better shots. Finally gets to the Gasol turn. Plus he was just never rushed. Even with tough defense, the shot clock running down, the pressure of the moment, his composure was always there. Even on the pick and roll, just watch how this patient pace causes a defensive communication. And then he gets a wide open shot. Fred Van Vliet! And most importantly, confidence comes from repetition. It's hard to be confident in something that you haven't done over and over again. But when, you work it, but when you work at something day in and day out, there's no reason to be fearful. And that's where Van Vliet's cool, calm, and collective performance came from. And why can't that be you? In basketball or outside of it, that applies. Prepare for the moment and then stick to how you prepared. It'll lead to new heights. Thanks for watching. Follow me on Instagram at By Any Means Basketball for endless new content. And check back every Wednesday and Sunday for new videos.